end of this month is uh, deer bow season. And uh, this is the bow that I normally or was using. I had a browning uh, wooden, all wooden bow, and it shattered on me. And I switched some of my sights and stuff over to this. Now this is just a uh, Phoenix Robin Hood somebody gave me. And uh, it's not the greatest bow. Um, but I picked up this Hoyt this year. And I've never shot it yet. So we're going to try shooting that today. And I picked up this. This is one that we've used in the past. This uh, Horton Summit 150 crossbow. But I picked up this Horton Stag. And this has got the red dot sight. But this battery, this gets kicked on. And then the battery dies. And I've had that been dead in the field. Which is never not not good. This has just got a traditional sight, so I'm gonna see how that thing shoots, and uh, we're gonna be normally we can we practice from up in the tree stand, but we're gonna practice from the ground because we've never shot these, and we're just gonna be shooting at this um, youth archery target. Um, that we put a roof over just to keep the elements off of it so that it doesn't rot in the weather but uh, We'll see if we can hit this thing Now the, it also keeps it, the arrows from flying out into the field which we've lost them before if you do miss Because um, we have kids shooting out here, too But uh, it's a nice little setup, keeps your target for a while. Now one thing I gotta say is all of our bolts, the shortest bolt we have is a 20 inch bolt, which that does take 20 inch bolt, but most of our bolts are 22 inches. And so they're a little long for that one. And this one actually takes a 17 inch bolt. And I don't have any of those. So that's gonna throw off some of this a little bit, but we're gonna shoot with what we got. Um, and I'm gonna, Try to improvise and uh, get some, pick up some supplies and things between now and the time it is to hunt. But uh, both seasons from September to February, so quite a long season. Have some time to dial this stuff in. We're gonna start out with the, uh, the Robin Hood. And let's just see. I didn't hunt at all last year, so. Let's see if I can hit this target. One down. For some reason I went to the bottom pin and this is, bottom pin is good up to about 40 yards with this bow. So, I mean the top pin. The bottom pin is probably closer to 80 or no, probably more like 150 yards, 200 yards. I don't remember what I had this set up at. That's why you got to get out and practice. All right, we'll show you what the target looks like.
right there is the hole. Just a little high of the red ring. I was aiming here and I hit here about an inch and a half away. All right, let's switch over to a different bow. Me and a good me and a half talk. I have no idea where to aim this. I've never shot this. There's no sights on it. Nothing. I'm gonna kind of look down the arrow. I was aiming, I thought, for the center. Uh, when I released the arrow, I did a whipper wool. Like it went like this. Make sure you can see that. Alright. Shoot for the center again. I think I'll stick with the Robin Hood. I'm pretty good with that one. And it's a lot, it has a lot more power than that Hoyt. That Hoyt, you can see it didn't even uh, penetrate that target with the arrow. Same arrow. So, I think I'll stick with this one. And uh, maybe set this up for somebody else. All right, let's shoot this one because I know I know how this one works. And the good thing about crossbows are, if you're out, uh, they're not good. Well, you can sit in a tree stand or something, but if you're just going to go out and set on the ground in a blind along a field or something like that, uh, it's hard to walk around with a bow and to draw without them seeing you so that's when a crossbow comes in handy putting a field point on it right now i don't need this release anymore all right get this thing cocked and uh get the shooting got a it's numbered zero through nine the scopes built in you can't even take this out that I know of take it off put a, something else on uh, and as you adjust this it's uh, 10 yards 20 yards 30 yards up to 90 yards so we got this at about 20 yards I'm going to shoot a little low aim for the center
think this is my hole. I was aiming here. So I'm high and left. Alright. We're gonna aim right here. Let's see what we get. That's a dead deer. About an inch off. All right, now we're gonna try our last comp or our last crossbow. And I've never shot this, and these bolts are too long for this. But Alright, I have no idea. Nothing. Name it for the center. Ooh, that's loud. Well, you can see. Hit low. Big time and left and doesn't penetrate as good and as loud man that's a loud one There. Well, it's consistent. Hit the same spot, so it's really low. That's got a lot more thump, a lot more accuracy. I was aiming here. I'm about an inch and a half off. So, 
Today's determination, I'm going to stick with the equipment I've been using. I am going to modify some of these and uh, make that one, that crossbow quieter and get some sights on this. Uh, and maybe a release rope and some sort of sight, some sort of sight system. But uh, I'm also going to see if I can adjust this a little tighter. Looks like I can. And get this tightened all the way up so it's all the way full power. And uh, we'll test this again. But it's kind of our uh, outdoor series. Hunting season's coming. I hope to take you guys along. We go out in the blind and we go out just walking around and a lot of things. So stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button and uh, go out hunting with us. Tammy's out here holding Duke back. If we leave him inside, he freaks out. So I didn't want him running in on one of these shots. But he did really good, didn't he, Tammy? Yeah, he likes to go after things. So I was uncertain, but he did great. He did really good. Yep. If you like this sort of thing, uh, leave a comment below. Let us know that you enjoy uh, seeing this outdoor hunting type stuff. And uh, we'll put some more of it up if you do. If you don't, we'll keep it to ourselves. So until next time, what Tammy? Peace y'all. Peace y'all.